So when we first came into the industry, I feel like a lot of haunted houses that watched our videos expected us to just kind of be that haunt review site that did a lot of this. Oh! Ah! Where we like come on and like talk about how go to this haunt because it's all of this great stuff. Go to this haunt because it's all of this great stuff. No, we're a haunt review channel. I'm Justin with Is This Scary joined by my best friend Gage. And our entire purpose here on this channel is to tell you whether or not we think a haunt is actually worth your time and money. I mean, so far, in a weekend plus one haunted house, you and I have spent like, what, 110, 120 bucks? Around plus that 130. Tonight, plus tonight point. was an extra 23. You got to throw on $90 worth of gas, too. That Easily, was, easily. Yeah, $90 worth of gas. So, I mean, haunted houses are not cheap, right? Right? Especially if you need to hit multiple of them in one night, so you right? got to get those fast passes. Like, they're not cheap, right? Mm-hmm. They are well, I mean, not if only there was all. a haunt we could go to for under $15 that was actually fucking good. Is there such thing? Yeah, it's called Realm of Darkness in Kakana. And the standard admission is 13 bucks, fast pass is 23 Well, let me tell you guys something. Tonight, I walked through something special. Tonight, I experienced a haunt that was... Engaging, scary, and exciting all at the same time. Now we have a new God, it is cold. Like I'm it fight is? I'm fighting off the shivers. You have a hoodie on. I'm just kind of sitting down here like about to throw my dick rider coat on, I'm telling you right now. Anyway, we have a new way we want to score our reviews. We do. Scenery scares sounds out of a hundred actors out of a hundred is it fun yes no overall score can be tipped one way or the other by whether or not it was fun wow was this a great way to use that mechanic that grading system this haunt holy shit no it it because it scored so high <laughs> Spoiler alert, Rama Darkness scored really freaking high. Holy cow. You know, we went last year. And I remember walking through the haunt for 10 bucks and $20, depending on if you did standard or fast pass. I remember walking through that haunt for fast pass price and standard admission price. And I remember going, you know what? That was worth every penny. I'd go again. I might even pay twice as much. Tonight's event... From the time that Spoons invited us into the Hellevator. Took we just over 13 minutes. Hellevator 2.0. Let me tell you something. Get my eyes wet. I gotta get my I gotta put my eyes in. You guys gotta understand. I'm getting old, okay? One day, some of you will go through puberty and then be old enough to understand my pains. It's a good jokes, right? I got good jokes tonight. No, dude, come on. Dalton and Ben, they want the review, dude. We're sitting here, we're stalling. We gotta move on. Scenery. Realm of Darkness. Kakana. These guys do it themselves. And it shows. Some of the worst... <laughs> Listen, it is some of the coolest looking set pieces of any of the haunts we've been to. Everything from the maze to the clowns to the to the uh, biohazards. I mean, this haunt has it all, dude. Mm -hmm. It even has some nice little cutesy. I don't want to say too much. Little off, almost off-topic rooms in there, you know. But let me tell you, man. Realm of Darkness, scenery. A hundred. Did you like it? I uh, definitely. It was dark. God, was, was that scenery? It was pitch black for I would say seventy percent of the haunt. They, you know, like the, the it feels like at Realm of Darkness, the stuff that you can see, they want you to see. 
right? Mm-hmm. Like, they want you to pay, oh, pay attention to this. Oh, it's lighting up. Look it up here. Meanwhile, like, here's a guy right around the corner to get you. Yeah, but they want you to pay attention to certain things. Mm-hmm. They use light so well and darkness. Because, look, dude, if we're going to creep scare you, we don't necessarily need to have a big flashing light in your face. Though sometimes that helps, too. We can give you pitch black. And, ooh, you know I'm afraid of the dark. <laughs> and, I'm spoiler, I actually am afraid of the dark. And he was there were, choking me with my... Well, <laughs> only because I want to keep up and, you know, in case I would randomly flop on the floor dead because of heart condition. But, that being said... If that does happen and you guys want to take his place, you know... Just hit Jenna could take my place. She, <laughs> she can do the reviews without me. But the point I'm making here is the, the way they use darkness and lighting at Realm of Darkness... Huh? is so good it really messes with you sometimes i never even thought about the name and how dark it get was it? you get just it? said get that it? welcome I... to the realm of darkness and i'm like prepare to you be did. terrified i see what you did there guys it was god it was so good i'm so sorry guys i'm just gushing like the first eight minutes of this review are just gonna be a shit talking cracking jokes and just gushing about it. Because it was so much fun. And I'm like talking to one of the owners as we're getting ready to leave tonight. And I'm just like, I don't mean to gush the whole time I'm talking to you. But your haunt's really effing good, bro. I loved it. Um, yeah, scenery's 100. 100 out of 100. Perfect score on scenery. It was exceptional. They put so much time into that. I know those guys have been working pretty much since the end of last season. And... Um, I was blown away. I was impressed. There were so many times where I was like, Gage, come look at this. Like, I'm showing you the uneven flooring and how it stays in theme being properly painted like the rest of, you know, the room. And it it was just like everything. Went, it, those are those, right? They could have just left plain lumber. No, they painted it <clears throat> and themed it like the rest of the room you were in. And I'm just like, this is so genius. This is so good. The whole time we were walking through that haunt tonight, you know the, other than, God, I hope I don't die of AFib. You know the only thing that was going through my mind tonight, other than that, while we were walking through that haunt? This is some of the most fun I've ever had at a haunted house, and I can't wait to go back. Mm -hmm. Would you go back again with Jenna? There isn't even a, there isn't even a, there isn't even a question. Still. so trying to get my breath from the smoke rooms. <laughs> there isn't even there isn't even a question. Would I go? Of course I would go again. It was so much fun. Scenery, a hundred gauge. What did you think about scenery? Lay it on us. I know we're kind of. This is what happens, right? Again, let's call this out quick. This is what happens when we're really excited about our time at a haunted house. We come on here and just gush. We can't we can't formulate a coherent thing because we're human beings, right? And it's fun for us. Mm-hmm. This isn't a job. This is a hobby. This is something that we really enjoy. And when we have something that excites us, we gush. 100 on scenery, Realm of Darkness. Congratulations. Gage, scenery, take it away. I'm done. Scenery, there were plenty of times where we're walking with something. I'm like, look at this. What are those? Literally. It's a bit of an old of a joke, but what are those? It's like, actually there, appropriate, there was, though. It, is, it was. It, it's just... There were so many points. I don't think I've really ever stopped in, in a haunted house and said, Justin, look. Yeah, yeah but yeah. <laughs> look at this. There, I don't want to spoil anything, but there was definitely a cool part. And I'm just like, Justin, dude, check this out. I'm like, hit, hit, just poking my hand through. Um, uh, scenery, and I guess a part of the scenery goes with how interactive this haunt is. And this haunt does, it's interactive. Now, when we mean by interactive, there are some things you do. Yeah, some choices you can make. Um, uh, and another thing about interactive is is just even unelevated floors or something like that that's kind of lopsided. I call that an interactive experience because, you know, it, it, your body like, oh, Jesus, you slam it, against the it wall. It affects your senses. It does. It affects your senses, which I consider being an interactive part, especially how Burial Chamber likes to kind of throw out that they have interactive haunt in, in uh, the insanity. But we're not talking about the Burial Chamber. We're talking about the Realm of Darkness. For the Realm of Darkness, for scenery, I would have to give it a solid... Eh, I almost gave it 100. Um, I just I know it's a few repeating rooms, and that's okay. 
um, because they what leads to uh, the outside area. But hey, everything else up until that point, and I think a little bit to do with the outside area was a bit changed. I'd have to give it a solid ninety on the scenery. Yeah, that's where I'm at when it comes to scenery. Fair enough. Well, let's talk about scares. Scares. So actually, before we get into the scares, I want to talk about the elevator. I don't want to spoil the elevator for anybody. <laughs> But I'm going to tell you this. It's. I thought he almost died. When the elevator when the elevator first first started tonight, I literally grabbed the railing. I'm tired. I was dizzy already from being exhausted, and I'm like, just in case, I don't know how wild I don't know how wild Holly Berry's ride is gonna be here, but <laughs> I want to make sure that I'm. And I just stood back in the corner, and I took it all in. There were some fine details. Did you notice the number on the door that closed? Did you notice? I didn't. There was a big number. Oh. Yeah, on the door when the door closed, and then it opened back up and said, uh, I got you guys stuck there in between floors, you know, because, you know, that's dumb, but it's a bad number, you know. So, I, I there were so many things about the elevator that I liked last year. And I don't feel as though they didn't do it justice with the way they kind of revamped it this year. That's my personal opinion. I really enjoyed it. And to be totally honest with you, when it first started, if you're sensitive to language, cover your ears. It scared the fucking shit out of me. I'm not kidding you. Like, when that first started, I knew it was going to be good because I know of Dalton and Benner behind it. It's going to be... It's going to be good. It's like, their 100% is like everybody else's 150%. i am still waiting for the Marvel, like, conclusion where you got Ben and Dalton, you got John, John you got and you got, Kyle, to you got Tony, Tony, Tony. You got Tony, John, and Ben and Dalton all doing a haunted house together. And some actors from Green Bay Theater. I mean, that'd be I mean, a from all the haunts. That'd be a total Bay. cluster. But no, seriously... <laughs> When the elevator first started, it scared the shit out of me. And I was just like, this is like, this is happening. We're going. We're going to hell. It is a great, <laughs> it is a awesome pacing and it sets the tone for the rest of the haunt. I love the elevator. I love the revamped elevator. And I think it's something for any haunt goers out there, you guys have to experience it. You want to give me thoughts on the elevator or you want me to continue? On the elevator, I do want to get some thoughts. Um, I don't know how you could call it in real life, though, but let's say it's like a video game. The the elevator does have some replay value. And it's very interactive. It is. That's what I'm talking about, interactive. Um, we, we talked with the owner immediately after we got done with the honks. He was hanging out and he was waiting for us. And we and we asked about it. And there are different things in the elevator that can happen when you go. Um, apparently, we got the boring one. I'm looking forward to when we go again and get the some of the other yeah. ones. So I just want to say it's got some what you call replay value. Absolutely. So definitely. That's why I want to go again. There's some things we want to experience again. Let's talk uh, about scares. Definitely. Scares. Uh, the elevator scared the shit out of me. There was, <laughs> that was a scare. There was legitimately an actor that I could see them in the darkness that still scared the shit out of me. Um... And I feel like for the $13 admission price, you know how Jenna said I cashed my check in scares? They cashed their checks in scares tonight. Mm -hmm. 95. Give me 95? Very, very impressed. Really, really enjoyed it. Um, the actors were good, and the actors were on their game. I, I, I don't, I, I don't want to talk about actors right now because we have another we are, we have a section later. for actors. But uh, the scares, 95. Very, very impressive. Very well done. I, I know that it's usually actor dependent for those scares, but still, there were some very good placements. And um, I really liked it. Mm -hmm. Like, I really, really liked it. And I, I don't know what you guys want me to say. If you're thinking, should I go to Realm of Darkness and you haven't already? realized i should freaking go i'm 13 I what, bucks i don't know what to tell you scares scares um is there terrifying 
Oh, I thought you were going to say zero. <laughs> <laughs> um, if they are able to look at some cameras, there's that one point where there's a there's just a, a surprise. And, like, I, I felt like I was getting ready for it. And I'm just like... Because I knew it was coming. So I think that's the only first time I actually kind of did this. Like, I didn't want to look. And normally I'm leading and I'm and I'm I'm looking at everything like, ooh, 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 ooh there's a penis. Wait, no. <laughs> Sorry, I had to throw that in there. Um, <laughs> hey, that was the only time I really did this. I think I can ever think of a haunt other than when I was a child. Um, and we're talking scares, man. It was scary. They scared me, I would say, two or three times. They got especially you. They right got in the you elevator. right away. Yeah. The elevator, that set the tone for me because um, you saw, you, like you said, you saw someone there. I was around the corner. I didn't see that. When That's the elevator not that opened I didn't, up. Not that I saw someone there. I saw it coming because that was my biggest criticism last year. It's because the elevator is this big, like this big crescendo. That was bigger. <laughs> it's this big crescendo. And then it just, boom, just dies. Nothing happens. Mm-hmm. This year something happens, and it was great. So moving on from that, when it comes to scares, man, I'd have to give that a hundred. You're a hundred. I'd get a perfect hundred because I got scared plenty of times. Good, good. definitely. Uh, next one. Uh, I thought the actors worked you really good too. They did. They how really did. The, how about the sounds, dude? Everything from sounds. Everything, That's our next one. Everything from being in the elevator itself to the hallways. Holy the... shit! Was that was that a lot right after that elevator? Yeah. It was yeah. like, ah, boom! Yeah. <laughs> this was, this was Holy like, shit! This was like, boom, 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 boom. <laughs> it, is, it is though, right? It's like an assault on your senses, and it the whole atmosphere was there. And then you're in the dark, mm -hmm. and then it just and gets quiet. And, and they're like, "See you later." And then you go into the into the room and it's like stay and play with us i'm gonna show you how to dance and it's it, it, so good it's so spirited and so good and the sounds and the atmosphere it's all there and then you get into their trademark maze and the flashing lights and the sounds and the trigger sounds that go off every once in a while, they screw with your head. And it was great. Sound for me. Again, I would compare the atmosphere and the sounds in this haunt to the atmosphere and the sounds or lack thereof at Haunted Voyage. The atmosphere and sounds at Realm of Darkness, 100. Gage, your thoughts. Hey, man, the way they, like I said, they just attack you when it comes to sound, right? When you get down with that elevator with um, the fun that ends there, then you go boom right into the next room, and you're, like I said, you're getting barraged with sound and stuff like that. It is crazy. And you just go into this silence, and you would think, hey, you got loud sounds. That's scary enough. Wait till you get to the silence. That's even more terrifying. Because <laughs> then you know there's a sound ready just to just blow up right in your face and make you cry um going into that uh maze dude they you couldn't set it any better how they played it to where the lights are synced with the sounds to the um jump scare sounds in that maze oh my god yeah <laughs> so what'd you think you would think it would be like a jump scare when in reality it's just a light flashing and you thought wow there's blood on the wall oh my god just something jump out hands on the wall no it's just me <laughs> well, don't keep um, us waiting what'd you think about the sounds what i thought about the sounds hey that's another solid hundred that you can't go wrong with that it was good that was another solid hundred was the sounds actors okay. actors um they were on point they were spirited they were in character. They never broke character. Uh, there were a couple actors that got me, even though I knew they were there, and they were intense. They did a fantastic job. Um, <clears throat> my only caution to the actors is... You know what? I'm not going to be that person. I don't have a caution to the actors. You guys were wonderful. You teased us. You worked us. You scared us. You were in character. They looked great. The masks were awesome. And they were intense. Mm -hmm. 95. Loved it. 
I'm going to go ahead and echo what you said. They were on point, and damn, do they work you. They, they work you good. Um, I would have to give it a solid 95 as well out of 100. Um, well, let me go ahead and add that I would have gave it a, a 100, but I felt like we've caught some actors off guard, um, and that's like in kind of in the maze and stuff like that. Um, it just, I, I saw a lot of it coming. They still scared you, they still scare the hell out of you, even though you know you see it coming. Um, but still, I would have to give it a 95 out of 100. I would have to echo what you said. Your final score is a 96.25 out of 100. My final Is that score. what you've been doing on my, it? My final score is over 97. It's either 97 and a quarter or 97 and a half. Uh, was it fun? God, no. It was terrible. I hated it. Oh, shit, I never want to go to this piece of trash hunt again. I, I, hope they get, I hope these shitheads get shut down. I hope the river just floods and takes the whole <clears throat> thing with it. Yeah. <laughs> it was a blast, bro. It was so much fun, dude. Let's it was. Up. Hey, you know what? Can we get a round of applause for Realm of Darkness? <laughs> you guys were awesome. Yes, it's fun. Yes. Gage, is it fun? What was that? Is it fun? Yeah, that would, was fun. Would you go again? Yeah, I plan to. I texted my girlfriend, we're going again. <laughs> my overall score is over a 97, which is an A-plus rating for Realm of Darkness, and it has my 100% full recommendation that each of you that are haunted house goers and enthusiasts visits this haunt season in 2022. Gage, final thoughts? Uh, it's probably a half-eaten candy corn with two pumpkins sucking each other off. <laughs> <laughs> Who seriously thought that was a good rating system? I, I, I had the hardest time trying to figure out what the fuck... Yeah, we can swear. What the fuck that meant. I was like, what the fuck is a candy corn and a pumpkin? Hey, how about the line actors? They were great. They were. They were the crowd. Debbie I, we, Dow Deborah Downer got you outside the elevator. She was great. Yeah, um, um where mom, were we? Moms, moms in the line. Moms? They were great. The moms were great. I heart hot moms. They were great. Um, Even though she literally, one of them literally played my childhood fear of the exorcist girl. I did not like that girl at all. That freaked me out. This was said, oh my god, there's one right there. You have a tag on your shirt? Yeah, it's it's still a new sweater. I forget this shit on there. Hey, Wisconsin. Did you have anything else you want to add? Oh, actually, I want to add some things. Hey, check it out. Merch links down below. Socials, all that good stuff. Boom, 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 boom. I have one question for you guys. Wisconsin, is it scary? You tell us your thoughts in the comments. I'm Justin, best friend Gage. Realm of Darkness is a must-see haunted house. Certified. Cer wait. Fresh. Certified. You shut up. <laughs> certified. It's certi certified. Rock. Certified spooky. Certified spooky. Certified spooky. Certified spooks. spooks. Half eaten ah! candy corn. Ah! <laughs> What the fuck does that mean? <laughs> Realm of Darkness, a must-visit haunt in 2022. Dalton and Ben, you guys killed it again this year. And apparently a lot of people in the elevator as well. And we will see each and every one of you right here next time.